What's going on everybody? My name is Silent Parallax. Welcome back to episode 17 of my Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Last episode, we finished Silphco. Here we are in uh, Saffron City. We finished uh, Silphco. Um, this little big old building right here. And we also completed the Fighting Dojo in which we got a pretty kick butt Pokemon. So let's start this with a quick team recap. Starting off, we got Night Owl the Noctowl, level 38. Randy the Kangaskhan, level 39. Truly Kush the Cradley, level 38. Big C the Dusclops, level 39. Niner the Corsa, level 40. And Ryan the Sceptile, level 25. We got him last episode, end of the last episode from the uh, Fighting Dojo. So I'm excited to. Um, level him up and get him going so that's our team this episode I might go down um cycling road get down to fuchsia might do some things down there um I feel like that'd be the best course of action for right now so we'll make our way over here I'm gonna try to like, cut back on using speed up I know I use it all the time but like for like battles and that kind of stuff you know, try to cut back a little bit. Um, we do have a couple battles coming up. So, let's get this going. Get some, uh, get Ryan some level ups. Uh, Barboach. 29. Oh, that's a French pet does to him. I think about half. So, I'm gonna sit here, guys. I'm gonna rant for a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna break the uh, fourth wall. When I'm recording this video, it's the fifth, so it's Tuesday the fifth. Okay, so I was sitting at work yesterday. I was on YouTube. I come across this video where it says like the whole Pokédex for this uh, Sword and Shield has been leaked. Okay, now I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys. I mean, it's a tiny spoiler, but. I've looked at this Pokédex, right? There's no pictures of the Pokémon. Like, I have no idea what any of the new Pokémon look like, this, that, or the other. It's just a list of names. Um, crap, was it a losing? Okay. Um, Alakazam, the Abra, Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam, did not make the game. And, I'm really upset about that. I'm pretty sure that that Abra line has been in every single Pokemon game. Every single one. But for some odd reason, they decided to keep it out of Sword and Shield. Now granted, it's like a 400 Pokemon decks or whatever, and they said once you beat the game, it opens up a new like 200 some Pokemon, whatever. I'm sure it might be part of that 200 or whatever. But, like... Alakazam is a staple. Alakazam was literally the second best Pokemon in the original games. Maybe third if you include Gengar and Mewtwo. Like, he is absolute bullcrap. And I'm upset about it. I have, to, I have been upset. I mean, when you watch this video, it's going to be um, the end of the week is when the games come out. So, And I do plan on doing a playthrough of that on the channel so you guys can watch that I'll probably um I don't know why I kept Night Owl out there I'll probably speed boost that's right um I will probably just release I'll just release two videos a day because I don't want to stop doing any of my other videos but if you guys have been keeping up with my uh other series I release a video I try to release a video every single day so far I haven't missed a day since like the very beginning before I started doing it, but I intend to keep up with that trend. So um, I might just start releasing two videos in a day or something like that. I haven't really worked out because I don't want to cut back the videos. Like I mean, poor Yu-Gi-Oh that I'm doing that, that series is one day a week because I mean it's a pretty slow moving game. So and I figured Medieval's a uh, new game that came out so 
more people will be looking at that rather than, you know, a game that came out like 2002. But, um, but yeah, I intend to do a playthrough. I'll probably play Shield because, honestly, Ponyta is going to be my number one Pokemon. You better believe I am going to find a Galarian Ponyta and I will be putting him on my team without a doubt. Um, but, but yeah, that, that's my little rant. I'm pretty, pretty mad that they took out Kazam out of the game. Um, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing we can do about it. Game Freak does what they do. So, go ahead. Looks like he has like one HP left. Really, I might just start speaking through these. I know I just said like not like five minutes ago. It could have only been six minutes we've been playing this. Oh crap, I didn't realize there's poison. Okay. Let me switch him out. Um but I wasn't gonna speed up, but after you speed up it's just hard not to. You know? Oh, and in case you guys missed it, we did get the Master Ball last episode, right there. Probably save that for my uh, Legendary Encounter. Now the way that's going to work is I'll probably just go to one Legendary and just get one Legendary Encounter. I'm not going to go to every single one of them. Once I get Surf, I'm assuming that uh, the Power Plant would be the best one. And do I not have any Antidotes? There we go. Got to get there. Um, probably go to the power plant because that's like the easiest one to get, and it could be a legendary from any of the games. Like it could be a Rayquaza. If it was a Rayquaza, Noctowl is gone. Did I, did I have to battle that middle guy? Oh, oh he used cover. So, Sceptile's up to level 27. Fake out. Mega Punch. Mischievous. Actually, I got Bite on him, so I'll just use that. The Cargo. So, that Niner. Let's go. Nothing easy. One more battle here. A red Dice. So, me. Send out Dust Clops because I'm sure he has freaking explosion or something. Nice 28 from Buskin. Send out Niner again. Bubble Beeman. I would have loved a Blaziken. I would have loved a Blaziken. I'm happy with Sceptile though. Sceptile. Blaziken and Sceptile are my two favorite starters, I think, out of any series. So, and they were both third gen, so. I never like Swamp for it too much. But, um, I also like Torterra. Torterra is pretty good, too. Um, so, how are we looking? So, I already got Disencounter. I'm just going to speed through these guys. If I need to battle them again, I'll do it, uh. Route here? Route 18. Route 18. 17. Okay. So we can get a new encounter here, guys. Right here. Um I really don't think I need to heal up or anything. Yeah, I didn't really battle anybody, so yeah. Oh crap. Let's uh Oh, I never spoke it. Okay. So I'm gonna jump off the bike real quick. 
these guys. Ooh, this war. Freaking Dunspar. The guy that killed Venonet. Mm. Weezing. Let us send out the exceed just in case he knows explosion. Oh, there you go. There we go. Oh, I love I love these lights so much. Screech pursuit. Don't forget a screech. Espeon. Actually I'll keep him out there. Give me shadow punch. Cargo fake out, Mega Punch. I love Mega Punch, man. It's awesome. The out. Go. Let's go real quick. Let's go see. Got one more trainer there, and then we're we'll off. Oh, can I? Is there a Pokemon here? Do I see a Pokemon up here? Yeah. Okay. I need to figure out how to get over there. Um, let's see if they have any Ultra Balls that I can buy. Yeah, buddy. Just buy thirty of them. Heal. Do 20 of those. Okay. Stock up on some items. Um, you can also get a safar safari zone uh, capture. We can fish in that pond right there to get the Fuchsia City encounter. So we got a couple encounters that we can get. Um, so let me battle this guy. And then we'll give, him, give our encounter. Of course, you did. You just heal up real quick. So we get strength and surf. Uh, in Fuchsia City, so that's gonna be because strength's a pretty good attack, and plus surface too. Teach it to Niner. Um, who's best to put out front? He knows hypnosis, so let me throw him out front. Let's see, it's a swine move. Nice, but he has drought, which isn't nice. Why not? Let's just throw, let's throw a great ball at him, see how it goes. Look, easy. I'm not gonna nickname him. Um I don't really think I'm gonna use him. Because my team's pretty good right now. To be completely honest with you guys. Um So we could do the gym, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into the safari zone. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the safari zone. That way we can work our way around. And get that what was it, 500? Yeah. I'll waste more money. Okay. Let's see if we can get through here. This is just like another maze, man. I, I have to remember how to rest house. Okay. There's also some good, uh, I'm not gonna say good items because no, my luck, I'm just gonna get berries like I've been getting. So my encounter is a Politoed. Oh, I forget, is it bait or rock? Oh, let me throw a bait. You like that? Yeah, 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 you like that. Throw a ball at him now. Let's see how this goes. I was never good at Safari Zone. Yeah, you keep on eating. Uh, come on. I don't 
honestly don't know what the difference between the rocks and the uh, the abate is. Just watching carefully. Oh, oh crap, he moved the ball. I was about to rock at him. Not gonna lie to you. I wonder if you want to flee. Okay. I'm gonna try throwing a rock at him and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, it fled. I honestly. Uh, do, do rocks make them easier to catch? Or something? Oh, an Eevee. That would have been awesome. Oh, here. Okay, here's a item. A green shard. Doesn't really do me too much good right now. Um, there's an item across the way there, but I couldn't get it. Item right here. Oh, a silk scarf. Silk scarf raises the power of normal moves. So... I'm gonna get rid of the King's Rock. Oh, and King is gone. And I'm gonna put the Silk Scarf on him. What do these rest houses do? Okay, so it's just for losers to come in there. Like, I'm so tired. Okay. Ooh, a Vigoroth. Dude, Slay King. Um, what? Didn't even take a step. Okay. Let's see. Come this way. There's a Pokeball. An Antidote. Fable. Yeah, Sea King on land, that makes sense. Um, you know, another Pokeball. Focus Energy. Doesn't really do me too much good. Freaking Mail. Mickeyana. Gold teeth. Okay, so the gold. We found the gold teeth. That's good. Psy beam. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that is. I. Yes. Dude, truly, Kush and Nina can like learn everything. Cool, so. Actually, before I do that, no oh, crap. No, yes. Let me see what their stats are. I don't want to give it like if it's attacks that like sends it. So, wow. It's pretty much the same. Thinking about, I'll get rid of Astonish and truly Kush for Psybeam. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's the better decision rather than forcefully learning it. Now this guy, I think, gives me Strength or Surf. Surf. Which then, of course, well, I should be able to learn this. Oh. Um. Wow, freaking Noctowl can learn it. Big C can learn it. I don't know which one's 
better. This is five turns. Well, this is five. I think it's stronger. I'm keeping roll out and give it rock blast. Okay. So now we. Pretty much gone as far as we can go. Um. There we go. Yep. So 20 minutes into the video. What I'm going to do next is we're going to do this the whole warden thing, get strings, and then I think we're going to call it an episode, guys. HM04, which is strength. So, open, use. I think I'm getting a comet punch for strength, because strength is pretty powerful. Okay. Um, let's, uh, this guy give me something? Yes, I do. I think it's super rod, right? Oh, good rod, okay. So good rod. What we're gonna do? We're gonna get one last uh, um, encounter right here, and that's where we're gonna end the video off. Let's see what we can get. Allowed you it. Huh? That would be good if I didn't have the Kangaskhan. Great ball and catch him. Wow, first one. Two Pokemon today, both caught with the first ball. That is awesome. But I do really enjoy X Cloud, and if you guys remember, uh, Loudred actually knocked out the Diglett. I'm not going to give him no team either. Um, yep. Poor, uh, poor Diglett that I had. Let's go into Pokemon Center real quick. Heal up. We're going to end the episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. Oh, well, actually, before I end it, check to see what uh, abilities the two Pokemon had. Like, we actually have a. Uh, oh, actually, they're tied. Mm. Place summary. Okay, so swine up with the. Oh, that's right. He had drought. Pack what was the final thing on the door, and he had rain dish. <sighs> so not bad, but not really. Excuse me, guys. Not really worth using. Um. But whatever. I think if one of my Pokemon were to faint, I would probably put a swine move, swine up in there. Cause I like uh I like that line, but I think we got a pretty good team going on here. Ryan got up a couple levels. I think he started at level 25 today, so I didn't really battle too many trainers. I pretty much did some uh other things like cycling road and Safari Zone. But if you guys liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate it, and uh, subscribe to me for more videos in the future. And just remember, guys, stay frosty.